Hey guys, welcome back to another video from Rootset. Last month, I showed you how you can make a plant watering system using Arduino Nano 33 IoT. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how you can make an advanced version of that project. Here, we will make an automatic plant watering system using Arduino Opla IoT kit. If you are a beginner and you are totally interested in building your own robots and electronic projects, then this is the channel for you. My name is Jidin and I am super excited to teach you everything you need to know about what you need to know. In the previous videos, I showed you everything you need to know about Arduino Opla IoT kit. We unboxed it, showed you different components, how to set it up and showed you how to upload your first code to your Arduino Opla IoT kit. If you haven't seen that yet, I will leave the link in the description. Go check it out. So what is automatic plant watering system? This system mainly consists of an Arduino Opla IoT kit where we connect the moisture sensor and the pump. The moisture sensor will continuously monitor the water content of the soil and the value of the moisture level will be updated to the Arduino IoT Cloud. We can use Arduino IoT Cloud dashboard to check the moisture content and turn on and off a pump that is connected to water reservoir. We can also set the pump to turn on automatically when the water level goes below a particular threshold. For this project, all you need is Arduino Opla IoT Kit, a 12V pump and a power source that can provide a 12V DC supply. Since Arduino Opla IoT Kit is a plug and play kit, you don't have to solder any components onto it. You can directly connect the moisture sensor using the connector and the pump directly to the relay. I will provide the complete connection details in the description below. Make sure you check that out. Here, I'll be coding Arduino Opla IoT Kit using Arduino IoT Cloud. First, we will log into the console. We will create our project. For that, go to Things and create a new thing. On this page, you will see complete details about your project. Now first, we will rename our thing. Let's name it as Plant Watering System. Next, we will add two variables. A boolean variable named Relay to control Relay1 and an integer variable named Moisture to store the value of moisture content. Next, we will create a dashboard and add some widget. And then, we will link this widget to our variables. First, we will provide our dashboard a name. Plan Watering Online Console. To control the relay variable, we will create a push button. And link it to the relay variable. I think it's better to rename it as pump. That makes more sense. Then, we will add a gauge widget and name it as water level. And we will link this widget to the variable moisture. Next, we will attach our Maker 1010 board to this thing named Automatic Plant Watering System. To do that, just click on this Associate Device link and select our board. Here, you can see that Arduino Maker 1010 board has been already added to the device list. This was shown in the previous video. If you have any doubts regarding this, don't worry guys, we have a tutorial specially for that. You can simply click on this link and watch that first. Now the board has been attached to this thing. Now. We will have to configure Wi-Fi network. You can configure the network using the button under network. There, we can provide the name and password of your Wi-Fi network. Now simply click on sketch. This is where we will be coding. The advantage of using Arduino IoT Cloud is, once you have set up your thing and all the variables, it will automatically generate a skeleton code which will contain all the variables and critical functions which is required to run the code. We just have to add extra variables and functions. So guys, this is the skeleton code. Now, I'll be removing all unnecessary comments so that it will look neat. And here is our final code guys. Now, let's take a deeper look. First, we are adding the libraries and declaring the variables that we'll be using in this project. These two will be used to control the RGB LED. Then, we will initialize serial communication, communication with Arduino Cloud, carrier board and prepare the carrier to run the remaining code. In the loop function, the value of pin A5 which is connected to the moisture sensor will be read every 500 milliseconds. These values will be mapped to a value between 100 and 0 and will be stored in the variable name moisture. Since this variable is linked to the gauge widget, this value will be reflected on the dashboard. On relevant change function will be executed when there is a change in relay1 variable which can be controlled using pump widget on the dashboard. When pump button is turned on, it will turn on the relay which is connected to the pump 
and when pump button is turned off it will turn off the relay that's it guys you can simply upload the code on make a 1010 board of oplakit now we will go to the serial monitor and toggle the button on our dashboard now all you have to do is connect everything together and fix it somewhere it will not be disturbed connect the intake valve of the pump to the water reservoir and the outlet valve to the port containing the plant now insert the moisture sensor to the soil to see and interact with the dashboard in your mobile phone download and install the arduino iot cloud application in your mobile phone now open the application and sign in with your account there you should see the dashboard you created earlier once we do that we'll be able to control the plant watering system from our mobile phone if you look closely you can see the moisture content is being updated in real time as the water content of the soil is gradually increasing now to make it completely automatic all you have to do is make a little change in the code add an if condition to check the value of moisture if it is below 10 turn on the pump or if it is above 10 turn off the pump you will find that code in the description so thanks a lot guys see you in the next video